Hello, welcome to All About Fire Protection. I made a new video which I am excited to share with you because I really wanted to give a clear picture of how the fire alarm control panel works. This will be a good start for everyone who still has a small knowledge with the fire alarm operation and it will help you figure better how to troubleshoot any faults within the system. But before anything else, I would like everyone to please share and support my channel with your friends so that I can still keep doing these videos. Okay, so let's start. Objective. The objectives of this video are to learn basic operation of power alarm control panels, input and output circuit. Second, to learn how to use user manual for programming of ACPs with deep switch for required application. Basically, in a fire alarm control panel, there are circuits you should know that are common even to all brands. I will be using a conventional fire alarm control panel but this panel is also listed for activation of power suppression system. So it will need the minor programming for your required application, which I will discuss later. Normally, in a conventional fire alarm control panel, you don't do any programming within the APCP board. Once you terminated all the wirings, then it will be good to go for testing. Here are the circuits you should be familiar in a conventional power control panel. 1. Notification Appliance Circuit This is the circuit where your alarm notification devices such as bell, horn, horn strobe, and strobe are connected. 2. Initiating Circuit It is the circuit where the device used for initiating fire alarm is connected such as smoke detector, heat detector, duct detector, beam detector, and manual pull station. 24 volts auxiliary power circuit. It is where you connect devices that require separate power, like for supplying power for external release and beam detector. Releasing circuit. It is where you connect your releasing device for activation of power suppression system, like the solenoid bulb. AC power circuit. It is where your 240 volts AC or 220 volts AC or 110 volts AC primary power connected. Battery circuit. It is where your secondary power like backup battery connected. Fuse. It is used to protect your APACP board from damage from overcurrent and short circuit, which is normally provided in notification appliance circuit or auxiliary power, battery circuit, and AC power circuit. Now that we are familiar with the common circuits within the fire alarm control panel board, we are now ready for the tool I am going to use to simulate the FACP. Please note that this tool is not normally available within the manufacturer, but there is one manufacturer like Fike, which is my example here, that gives a simulation tool for the user to be familiar with the system operation, which is very helpful prior to actual testing inside. These are the components of simulation tool. These components can be also seen inside the Fike APCP. Zone 1 circuit. This is where your fire detector connected as zone 1. Zone 2 circuit. This is where your fire detector connected as zone 2. Manual release circuit. It is where manual release station connected. Abort switch circuit. It is where abort switch connected. Low pressure switch circuit. It is where low pressure switch connected. First stage, NAC circuit. It is where the first stage notification device connected. 
second stage NAC circuit, it is where the second stage notification device connected. Third stage NAC circuit, it is where your third stage notification device connected. Agent release circuit, this is the connection for activation of clean agent other than solenoid. Solenoid circuit, it is a connection for solenoid device. Relay module circuit, like for alarm, supervisory, and trouble. These are the available relay signals which can be connected to building for alarm system for remote monitoring. AC power circuit. This is the connection for 240 volts AC or 210 or 110 as a source of power. Battery circuit. This is the connection for backup battery. Fuse. This is the electrical protection for overcurrent for 24, 24 volts DC auxiliary power, battery, and AC power. Silent switch. It is a switch for the activation of notification appliance. Reset switch. It is a switch for fire alarm control panel to restore to its normal working condition. Disconnect switch. It is used for disconnection of releasing circuit during maintenance. Diagnostic LED. It is used as a display for ease of troubleshooting of abnormal condition within the system. Let us now proceed with the test procedure. Preparation. Follow the user manual and look for the configuration based on your required application. In my example, my application is for activation of partial pressure system like the Clean Agent System or FM200. Configuration. Run the simulation tool. You visualize the tool as your actual physical appearance of ACP at site. Configure the FECP. Look for the dip switch. Configure the switch based on the user manual. Turn on APCP. Turn on the AC switch. Connect the battery. Observe and check if all LEDs are off except for AC normal LED. If only AC LED is on, then APCP is normal. Alarm test. Activate one detector in either zone 1 or zone 2. Check the indication of the panel. Alarm LED is on, pulse. Alarm bell is on, slow pulse. And horn strobe is on. Alarm relay is activated. Countdown timer is off. Solenoid is off. To silence the alarm notification, just press the silence switch. Then press the reset button to return to its normal condition. Predischarge test. Activate one detector in either zone 1 or zone 2. Here, I will activate zone 1 first. Check the indication at the panel. Alarm LED is on. Pulse. Alarm bell is on. Slow pulse. And horse throb is on. Alarm relay is activated. Countdown timer is off. Solenoid is off. Activate one detector from the other zone, which is zone 2. Check the indication of the panel. The discharge LED is now on. Pulse. The discharge relay is activated. Alarm bell is on. Now is fast pulse. Horse robe is on. Countdown timer starts. Solenoid is off. 
To silence the alarm notification, just press the silence switch. Then press the reset button to return to its normal condition. Release agent test. Activate one detector in either zone 1 or zone 2. Here, I will activate first zone 1. Check the indication of the panel. Alarm LED is on. Pulse. Alarm bell is on. Slow pulse. And horn strobe is on. Alarm relay is activated. Countdown timer is off. Solenoid is off. Activate one detector from other zone, which is zone 2. Check the indication of the panel. The discharge LED is on. Pulse. The discharge relay is activated. Alarm bell is on. Now, fast pulse. Horse strobe is on. Countdown timer starts. Solenoid is off. After countdown expires, check the indication at the panel. The discharge LED is off. Now release LED is on. Release relay is activated. Now countdown timer is zero. Solenoid bulb is on. Alarm bell and horn strob is on. Continuous. The strobe is on. To silence the alarm notification, just press the silent switch. Then press the reset button to return to its normal condition. Abort test. Activate one detector in either zone 1 or zone 2. Here, I will activate first zone 1. Check the indication at the panel. Alarm LED is on. Pulse. Alarm bell is on. Slow pulse. And horn strobe is on. Alarm relay is activated. Countdown timer is off. Solenoid is off. Activate one detector from other zone, which is your zone 2. Check the indication at the panel. The discharge LED is on. Pulse. The discharge relay is activated. Alarm bell is on. Now fast pulse. And horn strobe is on. Countdown timer starts. Solenoid is off. Before the countdown timer expires, activate the abort switch. Check if the countdown timer reset to configure time delay. Abort relay is activated. Deactivate the abort switch. Check the countdown timer if it starts. After countdown expires, check the indication at the panel. The discharge LED is off. Now release LED is on. Press relay. Release relay is activated. Countdown timer is zero. Solenoid bulb is on. Alarm bell and horn strobe is on. Continuous. Strobe is on. To silence the alarm notification, just press the silent switch. Then press the reset button to return to its normal condition. Manual release test. Activate the manual release circuit. Check the indication at the panel. 
Alarm LED is on. Pulse. Release LED is on. Pulse. Alarm the discharge and release relay is activated. Countdown timer is not activated. Solenoid bulb is on. Alarm bell and horn strobe is on. On. Continuous. The strobe is on. To silence the alarm notification, just press the silence switch. Then press the reset button to return to its normal condition. Trouble test. Remove one cable from zone 1 detection circuit. Check the indication at the panel. Trouble LED is on. Trouble relay is activated. Remove one cable from zone 2 detection circuit. Check the indication of the panel. Trouble LED is on. Trouble relay is activated. Remove one cable from manual release circuit. Check the indication of the panel. Trouble LED is on. Trouble relay is activated. Remove one cable from abort circuit. Check the indication at the panel. Trouble LED is on. Trouble relay is activated. Remove one cable from supervisory low pressure switch circuit. Check the indication of the panel. Trouble LED is on. Trouble relay has to be activated. Remove one cable from NAC1 first stage. Check the indication of the panel. Trouble LED is on. Trouble relay is activated. Remove one cable from NAC2 second stage. Check the indication of the panel. Trouble LED is on. Trouble relay is activated. Remove one cable from NAC3 third stage. Check the indication of the panel. Trouble LED is on. Trouble relay is activated. Remove one cable from solenoid circuit. Check the indication of the panel. Trouble LED is on. Trouble relay is activated. Remove one cable from battery circuit. Check the indication of the panel. Trouble LED is on. Trouble relay is activated. Remove one cable from AC circuit. Check the indication of the panel. Trouble LED is on. Trouble relay is activated. AC normal LED is off. Remove AC fuse. Check the indication of the panel. Trouble LED is on. Trouble relay is activated. AC normal LED is off. Remove battery fuse. Check the indication of the panel. Trouble LED is on. Trouble relay is activated. Remove auxiliary 24 volts DC power fuse. Check the indication of the panel. Trouble LED is on. Trouble relay is activated. AC normal LED is off. I hope that you find this video helpful and if you have other topics that you want me to cover in video, just comment below. If you want to support and donate for my channel, you can visit my Patreon account at this link. Once again, thank you for watching. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be updated of our latest videos. Good luck and stay safe.